TikTok Ryan Steele, stop disrespecting your elders, especially your parents. I've never read in the Bible that God said we are guaranteed a good childhood. All right. Um, I didn't have a very good childhood. It wasn't the worst because I've heard horror stories from other people, but it wasn't the best. You know, my mother was a drug addict. She was on crack cocaine. She would leave me and my brother and my sister for days without food to eat to fend for ourselves. There was times when we go to school, we'll have a television to come home. She didn't pawn it for drug money. There was times when we came home and the water and lights were off. Um, there was times where there was just junkies in and out the house. There was times when the police bust the house for drugs because there was so much drug activity between individuals within our household and between individuals coming in and out of the household from the street. I remember that. Um, but I never disrespect my mother. I will never come on social media calling her B's and H's and F her and all that crap. I'm seeing that being the trend lately. And I'm here to let y'all know y'all need to stop that, man. Especially individuals our age, 20, 30, 40, the millennials. Stop that crap. You need to be, we need to be setting an example for individuals behind us, the generation behind us. All right? Now, I'm not going to get on here and be biblical. I'm not going to get on here and say, read scripture and all that, because y'all didn't come for that. I'm just letting you know, man, regardless of what childhood trauma you've gone through, you go get some counseling and get some help for that. Bashing your parents that caused it ain't going to do nothing but shorten your days. Simply easy, man. I didn't have no good childhood. But I'm not going to sit here and blame my parents, because I don't know my parents... At least my mother. My father's amazing. I love my father. You know, he's a vet. He busts behind. He did all he can outside the military in the civilian world to make sure we had. There was times we were going to go to foster care, and he did all he could to make sure I didn't go to foster care or my foster care stay was very, very short. So I really, really love my father. I love my mother also, but like I said, she was a drug addict. Um, I'm trying to be real, real honest with y'all so y'all understand this. I'm not just some random individual coming off the street talking about stop disrespect your parents. I have reason, in my opinion, and probably yours to disrespect your, my mother, but I'm not going to disrespect her. I love my mother. Nobody ever going to try her. I'll kill somebody about my mom. I show more love towards my mother than she's ever, ever show love towards me. And it hurts. I had childhood trauma. And I know you do also. But you deal with it. You go to counseling. Stop you individual adults. Especially you millennials. Blaming your childhood trauma. Your parents fault. Stop trying to blame them. For your shortcomings in life. Stop. Alright. You ain't shit because you choose not to be shit. You ain't getting no help. Because you don't want no help. You ain't victims, all right? So stop. I'm trying to be nice about this. Stop disrespecting your parents. Stop disrespecting your elders. And fix your shit. Thank God that they gave birth to you. Thank God they gave you life because they didn't have to. Especially in 2023. Women are aborting babies left and right. Pro-choice. I thank God my mother gave me life. So now I have the opportunity to be successful. I have the opportunity to create generational wealth for our people. Some of my ancestors didn't have the opportunity to do. And most importantly, I have the opportunity to leave a mark on this world. A positive mark. To be remembered. I am in the position, or I will be in the position. Hell, we're all in the position. We, you watching this, we're breathing, we're living to change the world. Stop bitching and moaning, disrespecting your parents and disrespecting people because you have some unresolved issues. Fix your shit and leave your mark on the world. Because coming on social media or talking about your peoples in the street, your, your parents in the street, cussing and fussing, that ain't going to do shit. That ain't fixing your shit. That's not therapy for you. Regardless of what these toxic individuals out here hooping and hollering, talking about it is therapy. It ain't therapy. It's just disrespect. All right. Be appreciative that the person that gave birth to you decided to give birth to you. Ryan Steele.